And let's kick the night off here with tag team action. The world's tag team champions will be in action tonight against a team that we have not seen since uh, the, the season ended. Is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 485 pounds. Isaiah Muhammad and Tank Jackson. And these two black excellence coming to the ring as they will get an opportunity to prove themselves against the champions who have been on an absolute tear. I will say that um, every time they've stepped in the ring, they have put in the work and we're going to see if they can do it again against former two-time tag team champions. Uh, kind of excited to see what happens with that, but uh, hey, we got to do what we got to do here. There they are, and the champions should be coming out next. Yes, we are starting off with the tag team champions. It's not for the title, but it is uh, a proving match. Yeah, I like that. We'll go with that. And you know that King Malcolm will be watching this, seeing if these are two men that he's going to continue on with in his faction going forward. And there comes one half of the tag team champions right there. Eddie J. Ready and waiting. And I have no idea where Sniper is. He might be getting ready for them headshots. I might should have brought my helmet. Maybe I should have. Uh, huh. Oh, there he is, coming to the ring together still and still holding those gorgeous tag team titles. And, hey, we will see if they can uh, continue their dominance. And as, their ooh, opponent, go ahead, lady. at a combined weight of 521 pounds, the tag team champions, Eddie J. You were coming to the ring, and it's hard pressed. Like the last time we saw this kind of tag team dominance, one then became the world champion. We are talking about Raymond Black, and uh, I don't know. I really don't. I, we're gonna have to see how this goes. I'm gonna try not to get too excited. I'm not feeling the greatest right now. It's been a override with my daughter's surgery and everything. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> I can't, I can't do the screaming. I don't, I don't have the, the capacity right now. But I did promise you guys a off season two, and I'm proud of the matches. So let's get to it. And Eddie J starting off against Isaiah Muhammad, and Isaiah Muhammad just gonna pick him up, sidewalk slam, and then just sits there, you know, has a moment, chills out. I'm gonna lift him up. And the height difference doesn't mean the power's different. Ooh. Oh. You know, stomping mud holes, walking them dry. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And Eddie J having a rough go of it so far. Ooh. Getting backed into the corner. Not having a good, good first minute of this match. And up and down on his guts. Just rearranging his insides a little bit, moving things around. And now the powerhouse of the tag team, Tate Jackson, has him up. And around he goes, and down he goes. Not into the pin, you know how I hate that. <laughs> Hot tag was made, and here comes the sniper. And who runs him over flush with that knee? He gets up. And, ooh, reverses him with the kick. And a big knee dropping him to the ground. Tag team champions may be a little rusty. Ooh, there's middle of the corner. Tag is made into the corner. We go up and down with the big power slam into the pin. One, two, only a two count there. They have been working them over so far in this matchup with a big punch to the side of the head. Missed the kick though. And this is where Sniper is at his best that I've seen so far. Once you miss and mess up, it is oh, just a clinic on wrestling. Ooh. We'll lift him up now. Mm, spins him around. And oh god. Face buster. Dropped him right on his nugget. And now we're going up and Oh, God, just eat him right in the mouth. 
Mm. Snap. Snap. Punch to the face. Throws me in the corner. And what's he going to do here? Oh, he's going to throw it back into his corner. With the ref bump and polluted. Ooh. Looks like he's just swinging at everybody. Everybody can get a little piece. Takes him down for the fireman's carry. Now we're going to go for a little stroll. Or not. You know, just flip him over. Kick to the back. Does absolutely nothing. That clothesline sure did. He kips up like he meant to do that. And lift him up. And, ooh, he takes it down. Good double leg takedown there. They seem to have a reversal for everything. They have been watching tape on each other. Oh, oh they'll do it again. Now we're going to take him for a little stroll. Shoots him over. Goes for the pin hook of the leg. One. Two. Whoo, boy. I don't think he could have gotten any closer without his hand slapping the mat for three. And now, uh-oh. Oh, you know what's coming here. Oh, stops clashing. I think he's bleeding. One, two, and he missed terribly. But he doesn't have to worry about that. that swing over neck breaker from Eddie J. Ooh. And looks like he is ready. Uh-oh. Oh, he went for that bomb. It didn't work. And now he is going to work on that leg. Make sure he can't hit him with that power bomb that he hit so many with. Man, oh man, just really working that leg out. Ooh, never mind. Never mind. The shot to the face was heavy. And now we. Oh, thought he was going to send him out of the ring. Nope. Oh. Takes him up for the backbreaker. He is really feeling it right now. And now we're going. Get him up. Oh, oh clothesline. Got another one. Duck under and flying clothesline. Finish it off. And Isaiah Muhammad looks like he is ready to finish this off. And Sniper is in his sights. Big spear coming from him. I'm claiming some copyright because, you know, that's my move. But that's okay. it's okay, you know what I mean? Ooh, big elbow taking him down. Boy, he was already back. Don't worry about it. I told you. It's, it's been a while. <laughs> Sniper getting out of the way. About to have a visitor out there on the outside. And that was probably a bad idea. Ooh. Drops that knee right in his nose. Ooh. Went for the ends of the and Missed everything. And looks like Eddie J has had enough of it too. Went out there to help his partner, and oh no, oh, right on his neck, out there on the floor. And now he's gonna act like ain't nothing happening. Ain't nothing happening here. Oh god, clothesline. We are at the count of six. We only utilize a 10 count here in NHW. Man, I thought he was gonna run into something again. But anyway, there's. Oh, he's going to let him make the tag. And Eddie J is back in the match. And, woo, he went for that big knee. No, oh, that's him in the corner. And Eddie J, freshest of these two men. Maybe not anymore. Yeah, he might need some back surgery. And, oh, he went for the spine buster and got reversed into that DDT. Eddie J is not a small dude. That had to suck. Oh, God. Power bombs and, and in the ropes. And he even grabbed it afterwards for good measure. <laughs> he is not playing around. Now dragging him a little closer to the middle of the ring. And picks him up by his neck. And. Oh, okay. You know, when, you, when, when a regular choke slam won't do it, you just gotta. Gotta improvise. Damn. Pop up European uppercut. He just slid him. And now we are into the cover. One. Just a one count. I'm not sure what Tate Jackson was going for there, but I know what he's about to get. God, that dropped right on his neck. 
three. Oh, very well done. Nicely done into the pin. Two, three, and the kingdom continues their dominance with that interesting pin. But hey, you know, I'll take it. That was a nice pin combination. And you can't take anything away from Black Excellence. They really did bring it. Isaiah Muhammad was in there for way too much of the match, though. Way too much of the match, but the kingdom did what they do. They were very good at cutting off the ring. God almighty. Yeah, that right there. Just 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 destroy all the neck and everything. Here are your winners, Eddie J and Snyder. And congratulations to Eddie J and the Sniper. And now we have a debut, which is something that we've come to do with these off-season pay-per-views. And this lady here is not a debuting athlete. This. Okay. Making her way to the ring from Moscow, Russia, Ali Valentine. So Alina Valentine is ready to go here and she will be facing a new opponent and that is uh ooh, i am prepared for it uh her name is tough tiff and this is a match that uh she wanted um this here is a uh a knockouts match like you legitimately have to knock your opponent out in order to win this match we haven't had one of these in a while uh we do have the first blood championship but we haven't had a knockout match in a while and we will see what happens here but anyway you hear the music and uh well <laughs> ooh, here she comes to the ring we have not seen her here before i don't know if, well I kind of scouted her. I don't lie. But we have not seen her like in one of our uh, affiliated factions. There we go. Affiliated factions. I guess it wouldn't be affiliated factions. But uh, we haven't seen her. Um, uh, well, I don't, I don't even know how to put it. We haven't seen her. That's the best way to put it. It's a long ass intro. But there she is with those hands taped up. Um... And yeah, it looks like she's ready to get it in. She's ready to uh, hit this uh, hit this <laughs> ring. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what to expect here. All I know is she's got attitude issues, and, but the GM was uh, was really adamant about this. Um, with Mr. Steinberg being back and and, and wanting uh, you know to see her in action here on the off-season pay-per-view and that's exactly what you're gonna get uh i just don't know what to expect like i haven't she's wearing chucks in the ring like i don't know nobody that wrestles in chucks uh i wouldn't want to fight nobody that's wrestling in chucks that's just me though that is just me um but anyway uh let's uh get to the match here <laughs> Ooh, excuse me almost sneezed <laughs> Anyway, 20 minute time limit. There goes the bell, and Alan. Ooh, this Valentine just takes her down, and the crowd is not behind that. They must know who Tough Tiff is. And, ooh, there's an elbow. And we Off the ropes. Oh, duck. Oh, went for a kick. Oh, no. Ooh, runs over with that lariat, though. Kick to the back. And now going up and down with the suplex. Very nicely done. Kick to the spine. And you can tell she's not here to play any game. She's here to fight. Okay. That's what she's going to do. The ref's only there for fun. And a wee big Sayo suplex. And now just going to try to dislocate the elbow with the wrist taped up already. As I said, this is a knockout match, so you got to knock your opponent out. Reverse DDT, you know, is a nice way to start. You know, you drop her in the back of the noggin. And Dragon Screwed League. Yeah.
Ooh, ooh, big back elbow. Mm, big punch to the face. Give me a drop, tough tiff. That kick to the midsection, Victor. Jesus, whoa. Hello. They throwing hands out here. Mm. Uh oh. Has her up in the air. No, she doesn't. Another reverse DET. That's two on the dome. Oh my god. Ooh, kick to the gut there. Oh, she went for something. God, caught a DDT right on the face. Ooh. She's taking too long to set up these moves. And tough Tiff is just having a field day. Throwing her down the way there. Doing a little uh, taunt to the crowd and she picks her up. And now just, just slapping her across the face. Rude. Mm. Oh, caught her that time. That was a mean forearm shot right to the face. And now it's time to find Le Toys. And, of course, the first thing to come out is a table. Because <laughs> why not? Ooh. Okay. Not sure what she was going to oh, I guess because Tough Tiff was already moving. She didn't want her to move. And now the Saito Suplex again. Picks her up. And tosses her into the ring. And there we go. Lifts her up. Well, to one knee anyway. Now she finishes up. And now they're going to go for a walk. And ooh. Introduces her to that top turnbuckle and takes her to the top. Ooh. Oh, headbutt just she has her dazed and confused. Ooh. Big headbutts. Oh, multiples. Mm. Scrambled her own brains. Ooh. What is she going for now? A ladder. Oh, why not? <laughs> See if this can actually get used, though. No? Oh, God. Jesus. Just, no, just. She decided to just run her over instead. Maybe she set the ladder up. Oh, the ref moved the ladder. Big neck breaker there. Okay. Oh God! Stepped on her face, and now a little alligator roll action. And goes to lift her up, and oh, ooh, gets taken down by her. Oh. Tiff is just walking around, and she picks up that ladder. And still doesn't use it. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Lord, that disc is hilarious. Big kick to the spine there. Calls the shot. And we takes her down. Uh oh. Oh, another kick to the midsection. Oh boy, she went for that move again. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Dumps her down. Now she is really feeling it. Oh, picks her up. What we got going here? Mm. That's a punch. Then a forearm. Now going off the ropes into the corner. And big. Oh, just missed the ladder with that bulldog. Miss Valentina says nope as she just deposits her outside the ring. She put the ladder on the way down. That was not cool. And then throws the ladder on her. You know, cause why, not? Cause why not? You know what I'm saying? It's just things you have to do. Oh, she looking to finish it out there. 
Okay. Jesus. Alright, well that clothesline ended it. Alina Valentina has just picked up a hard fought victory with that last clothesline over Tough Tiff. And I doubt this will be the last time that we see her. That was a great matchup. God, I thought that clothesline was going to be it, to be honest, because she was not moving. Yeah, that, oh, right there. Jesus. The day Here is your, your winner. winner. What she said, even though she messed up her name, Alina Valentina is your winner. And let's continue on with the night. And we are on to the third match of the night. And that is a uh, former world, a former television, and a former European champion, Jay Walker. Making Coming his to way to the, the ring. ring from West Virginia, weighing in at 217 pounds, Jay Walker. And Jay Walker is coming to the ring as he's facing another debuting superstar who I have not seen at all. Uh, this is a straight giant move, and that is Teddy Jacobs coming to the ring and. Uh, Hey, we'll see what he can do because this is a submission match. Yes, that is what I said. This is a whole submission match. Um, so, <laughs> this could go one of two ways. Yep. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what happens with it. You know what I'm saying? And here he comes. This is his first time coming to the ring. And it just so happens to be an off-season pay-per-view. So it counts. But it doesn't count. Something like that. <laughs> anyway. Um, this is what we have going on. And I really do believe this could be a... Uh, and ooh. his opponent. From New York, New York. Weighing in at 242 pounds. The technician, Teddy Jacobs. Teddy Jacobs, I do know, is an MMA professional, so this submission match might be right up his alley. But we will have to see, you know. Um, hey, I really don't know what's about to happen here. <laughs> oh, man. I'm excited to see it, though. I think that... Uh, I think that this is a, a big test, a great test for... Teddy Jacobs coming in here. I mean, you're facing a former world champion, a former television champion, and a former European champion, as I said. So, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna test the waters of NHW, why not do it against the best that we have to offer? And there he is. Wearing shoes. I like it. See, we've had other MMA fighters that have come through here and they don't know how to wear shoes and then they get the foots stomped on and I gotta hear about it in the back. So, we ain't got to worry about his foots. They got on the Nikes, and he is ready to go. And we are ready to see what happens in this submission match. So, you know, I say it's enough time. Let's get to it. What you? Oh, he just, he just looking everybody over. He got some clean hair to be an MMA fighter. I mean, this is also coming from a man who's bald. So... <laughs> And there we go, and here we go. Woo, they both tried for a knee. He connected kind of with that hand. Oh, and now you're just going to introduce him to the ring. And a 25 minute time limit. Whoa. And that big German suplex. And a big European uppercut. You do have to watch out for Jay Walker. He has so many different ways that he can uh, make you submit. Like I used to, or well, just make you lose. I used to be, you know, kind of upset with him about the knee pad. Jesus, that thing. About the knee pads. But I got over it because, you know, that sick moustache. Wee. Mm, I'll loop. 
and trying to work him over. That back body drop does not allow him to get to where he wanted to be. Ooh, kick takes him over. And now, a little ground action there, working on the midsection. And, woo, shows some of that wrestling acumen right there with that strong lariat. But, you know, a bigger man with the shoulder tackle. <laughs> Now working on that arm. Ooh, ooh, starts off. Oh, he grabs the leg too. He said, let's not go nowhere. Let's let's have a little talk about these body parts and how they're supposed to stretch and how they're not stretching correctly. Ooh. Takes him down again. And now just kind of got it. Well, I, I feel like this is a feel-out process. Ooh, maybe. Maybe he might be trying to make him submit right there. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't my spine don't bend that way. Wee. How did he wind up on the ropes? Alright, nope, not asking questions. Mm. Oof. That was a spine buster. Now he's ooh, he went to get up. Jesus, Teddy Jacobs is not. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Oh, into the arm bar. Oh, no. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Teddy Jacobs is having a great showing so far. And now he is. Oh. He got them legs. There is really no. I mean, I can't really see. He might be able to. Nope, never mind. Ooh. Mm. Oh man. And don't mind that. I have messages still coming through. And whoa, goodbye. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. And now, ooh, drops on that leg. He is really working on those legs. Oh my god. And into the ring we go, we go. And up to the top rope. And went for the diving elbow, but playing possum was Jay Walker, who now has a slight advantage as he throws him into the corner. And now just chopping him down the sides, and now stomping a mud hole in him and walking it dry. Ooh, sends him over with the kick. And now the cross face, the LaBelle lock, better known. And I don't know if Teddy's going to be, I mean, his arm is in a weird spot. Ooh, shot to the back. Ooh. Point of the elbow makes him bleed in the clothesline to take him down. And now just trying to choke him out with his legs like a reverse triangle, kind of. I don't really know what the pressure is on that. It just looks kind of. I don't know. I'll let y'all decide what that looks like. But anyway, he has him again. Maybe he's trying to squeeze his head like a grape. Who knows? Who knows? But he did not tap out to either attempt. And now he gets lifted up. Fireman's carry takes him down. And then gets his chin rearranged. And ooh, a little overhead belly to belly suplex. Mm, back on that head. And now he is back in the bell lock. Really working on that arm and head. And he is in the center of the ring. There is nowhere for Teddy Jacobs to go. He is fighting for his life. Oh, but Jay Walker lets him go. And that could be a mistake. Nope, he goes right into another submission. He is really staying on top of him. He is trying to get this dub. Yeah. And no 
submission yet. Now going right back after it. And the ref is in a great position. He can hear him if he starts screaming for his life. Right now, it just looks like he is trying to survive. He did not tap again. That has got to be heartbreaking. And so, you know, because that's what you do. You just go for it for the third time. Just go ahead and just, you know. Hmm. All righty. We going to do it again? Nope, he lifts him up this time. But he has got to be dazed and confused. Oh, my God. Big shot to the face. Teddy Jacobs was, was doing great, but now he was having a rough go of it. Close line, close lines, and close lines. But that's what happens when you're in the main. She's coming to the world. And now he's just going to get stomped out. Good gracious, the former world champion really just having his way with Teddy Jacobs right now. And now trying to make him submit again, but his arm is in the rope, and the ref told him to break. And this is why he's a former world champion. I mean, look at the, the determination on him there. And, oh, man, yeah, no. I mean, after the way that match was going, that's... Yeah, couldn't expect it to end any other way, but I mean, you gotta give him all the credit in the world. He did put up one hell of a fight, but Jay Walker just stayed on his head the whole time. And um, if I do another off-season pay-per-view before 2K22 comes, well, I probably will. I'll do another one in January. So, uh, in January, since 2K22 is not uh, coming out until... WrestleMania time in January, we'll have off season three, and there will be a rematch of this. Uh, these two are going to step into a cage, a submission cage match. Here is your yeah, winner, let's take it to the end Jay of the Anyway, Jay Walker has won. Ooh, no, they'll do a knockout match next. That's what they'll do. Anyway, with that win, we'll continue on the night, and I think we have a good one next. Uh, both returning to action, so let's get to it. And now right smack dab in the middle of her, in the middle of the card, I should say. We have returning from injury, a Paige Inferno. Um, and uh, yeah, we have not seen her since she lost the women's championship. And yes, she will get her rematch for the women's title. But uh, first she has this business to deal with. And this is some uh, business in the making since Corey Rose was here uh, one of our associate directors uh, a person who is actually responsible for some of the uh, the does up of this uh, arena and that is uh, Lexi uh, she is facing Paige tonight so both of them returning she hasn't been in action in a while she took a big long break and then returned at the last off-season pay-per-view to uh, to show up Paige in front of him. And uh, yeah, you know, we'll see if she can get her win back because as it stands right now, Paige has not lost in NHW. And while I understand that if she was to lose this technically she would have a loss um i don't think that that's what's gonna happen i am uh i i don't know how i would count it or how it would be counted well we'd have to see um i don't know i don't know well anyway um 
<laughs> uh, but but Paige, we, or not Paige, look, there she is, Jesus, criminy, I was not prepared for that at all, it was just dead silence, and then the music started, and there she is coming to the ring, and I hope that she's ready, I mean, both of them have been out for a while, I mean, months, so we'll see if they're, uh, if they're rusty, or if this is just going to be a one-sided affair, or how this is going to work with Lexi. She's been wanting to show the darkness. Corey Rose was her friend, and they were getting ready to have a great women's championship match in tour. Paige from Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, and so did herself. E. And then there she is, Lexi. The darkness has consumed her for this matchup, and oh my god uh, poor cameraman just just back up sir she, she didn't look like this yesterday I, mean, I don't know what's going on um, but uh, in the producers meeting she sure did look like it. <laughs> oh boy uh, man. hey you know sometimes you just gotta uh, you gotta you just gotta make things right Yes, and this is how she's gonna do it. And she is down a match actually to Paige. Yeah. Yeah, because she was the champion and then Paige beat her for the title. And it was a pretty ugly match when it happened. So we will see if she can get that win back, if she can hand Paige her first loss, even though technically it will not go on the books. And uh there's the bell. And Paige showing her size starting off. Big size difference between her and most of the ladies here at NHW. Natalia uh, is probably watching this match. So is Peaches, both of our women's champions. Uh, the prestigious women's champion and the women's world champion. Uh, still in the works, possibly. Might be, ooh, big shoulder tackle. Still in the works, possibly, is a... Uh, an all women's show so we'll have to see how that goes um, kind of gauging that right now I might put a uh, might put a thing on Twitter about that seeing if ooh stun gun into the pin one only a one count but yeah we we'll have to see if uh, if that's what people want if so breaking the fourth wall a little bit I'll need to use a whole nother gamer tag for the ladies uh because i don't want to mix them up well no it depends because you get like a hundred slots so if i did like i don't know like 30 dudes and 30 ladies i could probably run that on one gamer tag probably and anyway just a big god slam takes down page and page Paige is in a fight right now. Anyway, that was just a thought while I'm while I'm out here. And, ooh, drops Paige down. That had to hurt because the, the, the height difference. Paige landed more on her neck there. Like she landed on her face there. You know, it's just, it's just things that happen. And Lexi is really feeling it right now. She might need to stick with the darkness if that's what's going to help her. Never mind. But she got ran over by that lariat. Ooh, ooh. Big knee to the face, but it didn't take Lexi down. This might, though. Oh, dear. And she tried to throw her damn near out the ring. And then lifts her back up. And oh, my God. The forearm. Uh oh. Ooh, big forearm shot of her own, taking down Paige. And now I'm going to run her off the ropes. Oh, big belly to belly suplex there. Takes her down. Now has her up. Oh my god, big kick to the face. And ooh. Lexi looks like she's setting her up. There's that kick that we've come to know and love. And into the pin she goes. One, two. And only a two count. Even after she tried to kick her head into the third row. Oh my god, but the shot to the gut. And... Uh, we're just going for a little stroll. Mm. Mm. 
And now gonna go <laughs> slide into the cover. Oh, it gets a one count. Uh oh. Oh boy. Lifts her up. Ooh. Backbreaker. Bends her neck out of place. And just to stretch her arms together. Uh -huh. Made her shoulder blades click. Ooh, big kick. Punches, punches, punches. Kick to the gut, into the corner. And, uh, not sure what she's doing here. Wait, that's Paige's injured leg. That was the whole reason she was out and Lexi working on it. And she's tapping, but it's an illegal hold, so you really can't count it. Ooh, big shot to the back. Mm. Ooh. That jab to the face, kick to the third, knife edge chop, shot to the back, another one. Let's see, had enough, these two are going out, ooh, takes her down, goes into there, mounted punches in, bunches. And we, uh oh, ooh, big kick to the face. And we are at seven. And she throws Lexi back into the ring. And I'm sure this is a rivalry that will probably never end. Okay. Not sure what that was about. Oh, that shotgun drop kick, though. Yeah, what is that about? Shoots her over into the pin. One, two, and still only a two count. Lexi is not going away. Neither is Paige. Mm. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, long blow, a power bomb, but she is in the rope, so that is a rope break. You hurt yourself in that one. This is the punch. What she saying? That. Ooh, that forearm is hideous, but it hit the mark, so. Can't complain. Oh, there's another one. Another forearm. Duck under. Pele kick right to the. Dude, she probably hit her in the back of the floor with them big foots. And now lifts her up. Spins her out and set out. Ooh. These two are really going at it. You can tell the hatred Paige doesn't want her first loss. Even if it is on off season and Lexi doesn't want to lose because she's trying to defend her friend. Oh, the darkness though. Oh, she reversed it. Paige has some problems on her hands. Oh, there's that kick to the head. Mm. And now doing the move that I absolutely hate the most. Just working that arm, trying to tear that rotator cuff all up out the way. And now gonna send her over, shoots the half into the pin. One, two, only a two count there. Page Infernum not ready to go away yet. And if you look, she had the pee on the back of her leg. I'm wondering if that was for Page. And into the pin. And what do we have here? Wait, wait. Still only a two count. Page is not. Oh, okay. You know, because the third one, you know what I'm saying, you just hit somebody with three kicks to the mouth. You know what I mean? They, they don't, normally don't get up from that. And that's exactly what happened here. As, as I said, it does not count on the official record. But we have now seen that Paige Infernal can be beat. It only takes like 800 finishes. But, you know, it, it is what it is. She was beaten by this, by that kick right to the face, that roundhouse kick right to the face, and hey, Lexi has to be happy and proud of herself. Um, congratulations to Lexi. We have two more matches, that big tag team match coming up next, um, but I'm wondering how Devin Harrell is going to be after we saw him earlier get attacked 
by the associate of Unstoppable. Um, and so we'll see what happens with that. Um, and from there, you know, after that, we have that main event with the CM. And in the semi-main event, we have to figure out what is going to happen as Jaden, Shadow, and RJ Smith um, team up. And they will be taking on Stephen Sugar Hill and... Who the hell knows? Because uh, the associate of that man right there, Aaron Abbott, um, pretty much took out the Devin Harrell. And, uh, well, with the, the help ring. of that man to his right. That combined weight of 412 pound national Jaden R.J. And Unstoppable comes down, and we are going to see exactly what they are about together. And if they, you know, they're stable, so we'll, they should be able to work together in this matchup. Uh, but we do have the world champion in the match, and a contender that he has no problem with facing Sugar Hill, who might be running this alone, but... It is kind of weird for the champion to come out first, even in a tag match. So, we will see uh, exactly what is going to happen with this. And, um, I am concerned. Because if Sugar Hill has to take on both of them in a handicap match, he will not make it to off-season three. Because they're probably going to try to murder this man. Very much so. That's, that's my take on that. So, now... Coming to the ring, oh, there he is. Well. And now coming to the ring, Stefan Sugar Hill, and he seems and very. First, from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 241 pounds, the super athlete, Stephen Sugarfoot. He seems very unfazed that uh, his partner just got beat up in the back. I mean, <laughs> he literally went and checked on him, and now he's coming out to the ring like, you know, didn't nothing happen. So, uh, maybe he knows something that we don't. Because he's very ill-concerned, dancing, doing his thing. You would think he would be a little bit more serious, because this looks to be a handicap match. But, hey. I guess if you're going to do it, you got to have fun with it either way, right? And the, again, this is the last show of the year. Oh, God. I hate when he does that. But this is the last show of the year, so hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving and Christmas after this. Oh, there should be, well, there is one more match after this, and that is Christopher Marshall versus P.K. King. And now coming to the... Uh, I don't know who this is. I think we're about, oh. And his oh. partner from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 241 pounds, Showtime. And looks like, <laughs> it looks like the Ego Powers have made their way to NHW. I guess that's why he was dancing to the ring. He already knew what was going to happen. You see he's wearing a t-shirt. These two men, former uh, PWR tag team champions. And, uh, yeah, you know, his work name. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even going to go to that. I'm not even going to be that petty anyway. Uh, but he is just walking down to the ring real cool. He's rocking my shades, and I'm not appreciative of that at all. But it is okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's It's fine. It's not fine. I need my glasses back. I'm so tired of him. It's never mind. Anyway, stepping into a NHW ring for the first time is Showtime, the tag team partner of the actual tag team partner of Sugarfoot. So, you know, we'll definitely have to see how these two uh, make this happen. Because Jaden, we know how Jaden Shadow is, but uh, do we know what the hell happened to his chain? 
<laughs> oh, okay. But do we know how it's going to work with uh, Jaden and RJ? We've never seen them tag. But if you've watched any other things that Showtime and uh, Sugarfoot have been a part of, they tag very well. Former tag team champions, as I said. And, ooh, the big two starting off. Jaden Shadow not even playing around. He's going right after Sugarfoot. And Sugarfoot with the snap German to start us off. 20 minute time limit and a kick to the back of the head. Now we're going to stretch him out a little bit. Ugh. This is rude. Just deposit him on his face. Receipt given. See if he steps on his back. Nope, he's going to stand him up. And now they get to go for a little stroll around the ring. Do, do, do. Oh, not fast enough. And unstoppable versus the ego powers and into the corner. And the tag is made. Oh my god. That was a hell of a neck breaker there. And Jaden Shadow, nope, in a bad way now as those lefts come flying down from Showtime. Kick to the gut for good measure. Make sure he doesn't just get right up. No, no selling here. Big knee to the throat, chin, face, toothless area. And then steps on his shoulder. Now gonna lift him up. Wee! Okay. Kinda cocky there. Oh, oh, okay. That's what we're doing. Whoops. Oh, takes him down hard. Now Jaden is waiting. Stalking his prey for showtime to get up. Ooh, runs him over with the knee. Now gonna lift him up. Throws him into the corner. And stands there. Alright. And I don't know if him and RJ are having a conversation or what's happening there. But they need to figure it out. Now RJ is definitely fussing about something. And oh, up he goes. Oh, never mind. Elbows, elbows. Breaks free. Ooh, shot to the gut. And off the ropes we go, we go. Mm. Takes it down with that power slam. Ooh, kick to the gut. DDT right on top of his head. And, of course, Showtime has a little bit of a showing off to do. RJ Smith has yet to be in the match. Ooh, big kick to the gut. And the spinning suplex takes him down. And right there at RJ Smith, he really didn't make much of an attempt. Oh, God. There's the tag after driving Showtime's shoulder into the ground. Whoop. Back body drop for his troubles. Hmm. Now just working on him. Trying to twist his head off. Oof. Now lift him up. Hmm. Oh, okay. And into the pin. One. Two. Only a two count. And Sugar Hill wants to get his hands on Jaden Shadow. He's broken up. And whoop. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. He is feeling it now. Showtime getting up kind of slow. Mm. Now they're going to go for a little stroll. Snap mirror. Ooh, forearm. Now they're going to run the ropes. Big hip toss. He is out of breath and Showtime is crawling across the ring trying to get that tag and he does. Sugar is back in the ring delivering these hilarious and missing <laughs> and missing. Oh, there it is. Mm, T-ball suplex right into the pin like it. One, two. 
and oh, oh, um, I know Jaden is not gonna be happy about that at all. That was, <laughs> I don't know what that was, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> oh man, but the uh, the ego power. Mm. Probably because he caught him off guard. Jaden wasn't prepared for it either and missed the count just by that much. There they go. Here are your winners the super athlete, Steven Sugarfoot Hill, and Showtime. Congratulations to the Ego Powers. And now we get on to that big main event. And now the main event of the evening, and that is Christopher Marshall, good old CM, as he's been going by here lately. Um, he is going up against and taking on what could be one of his, or could be his biggest matchup here in NHW to date. I mean, he's going up against the uh, the current reigning defending European champion so we will definitely see how that works out for him and if he is able to beat him the stipulations of it is if he can beat him then he gets a shot in season Making 3 the very first the episode ring. from Auckland New Zealand weighing in at 228 pounds Christopher Marshall. And Christopher Marshall, no Marshall. You will make certain people upset. But um, <laughs> Christopher Marshall is here and he is ready and we are ready for it. Him and PK King did a little back and forth on uh, online and we are going to see how that back and forth worked out for him because this is the main event. And he is feeling it. I like this attire on him though. This is a pretty cool attire. I'm not even going for it. I couldn't pull it off because I don't have enough tattoos, but he got it. You know what I mean? He got it. <laughs> so with that in mind, now we've got to get PK King to come to the ring rhyming accidentally. Um, and we'll just go from there. You know what I mean? We'll just see what happens from there and uh, See if he gets that opportunity that I know that he wants so, so bad. And there it is. You hear that music. You know who it is. It's one of the longest reigning European champions to date. And that is PK King. There he is coming to the ring with the belt around his waist. Representing the kingdom. From Miami, Florida, weighing in at 207 pounds, the National Honor Wrestling European Champion, P.K. King and the Champion. Cool, oh, okay, lady. And the cool thing about, you know, these two is the weight difference is, is a pound. You know, it's not like one's overly weighted against the other. It's not like one's overly tall. This should be a great matchup, tale of the tape type deal, where, you know, these two are just a match. You know what I mean? We're going to see if they, can, if they can be that match, if they can do that. As we are moving on here, moving right along with that beautiful European championship. I'm not changing any championships as we go into the next season. I will go ahead and tell you that now. I thought about it. Um... Nah, <laughs> nah, I'm I'm good on changing designs. Maybe, one, but I won't talk about that one. Anyway, there's PK King. There's the championship. He's not defending, but he kinda is because you gotta think about it. if PK King loses this world or this world championship, Lord have mercy. If he loses this match, he does have to defend it against Christopher Marshall. And that would be that's gonna be a hell of a way to kick off uh season three if that's how it's meant to be. 
And these two are ready. There's my ref. There's the bell, and let's get to it. And oh god, dropped him off with that knee real quick. But that overhead belly to belly suplex. And now I'm gonna drag him towards the middle of the ring a little bit. And now we're going to Stomp Town. Gotta stomp that mud hole and walk that bad boy dry. Uh oh, missed that. Ooh, BK King ran in a little bit too strong and got caught with that Pele kick. And the drop kick to the back. And now gonna lift him up and ooh, big elbow to the gut. And ooh, that push off uh, drop kick was immaculate. And now reversal into the corner. And lift him up to the top. And BK King said, no, sir, not from up there. <laughs> I'll drop kick you from the heavens, but you ain't about to send me flying from him. And oh my God, hits him with another knee. Christopher Marshall is trying to show what he can do one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, wow. Ooh, oh, 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 okay. Combination platter going on right there. And eat the feet. Eat the chin or the hair. He's got that little fro hawk going on. He runs him over with that lariat. And now, not sure what he's doing here. Oh, off the ropes. A little ball in action. Yep. The end of the elbow drop. And woo, missed that kick. And he spins him around and sends him into the corner. And oh boy, step up ends a gurry. Tried to send his head into the fifth row. As he pulls him closer to the middle of the ring and tries to destroy his ligaments between his elbow and his shoulder. And woo, a good old back rake. I love it. Okay, not sure what they were aiming for there, but both of them with a miss. Maybe a little bit excited. Oh, he takes him down, rolls around. Big kick to the side of the head. And now he is stalking his prey, waiting for him to get up. That sends him over, and a big knee dumps him off. And now he's going to float into the pin. One, two, only a two count. I'm not going to I mean, yeah, no, that, I think that he was putting on a great matchup. And he was going to definitely be a... Uh, a big time player here in NHW. And it looks like he's in the ring with the wrong one right now. I mean, it's not over yet. So I'm not counting him out. You can never count a competitor out until the, his. Ugh. Oh, Snapdragon. You can never count a competitor out until his, mat, until his back is on the mat for three. Or he submits and says, Uncle. Or I quit. Not necessarily. And there's P.K. King showing off his skill. One of the reasons why he is the European champion. One of the longest one. And oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to see that. Goes into the pin. Hits that leg one. Just the one. Just that uno. And ooh, ooh, big knees. And ooh, got him again. Oh my God. He's out here with the champion. It would mean something to him. It really does, it means something to him. You can tell that it does. Christopher March. This, this means a lot to him, and he's not giving up. He is fighting through everything. Woo! Even though P.K. King is doing his best to murder him. One, two, and still only a two count. And P.K. King is beside himself. He really has no idea what to do. He is having a fit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, big. Wow.
Dang, what we got here? Mm, dump some down hard. Ooh. And one, two. Still only a two count. Christopher Marshall's not giving up. You're going to have to make him. And look at this cockiness from PK King. He is just feeling it. But I think he's taking too much time and letting Christopher Marshall just rest and relax. And he's going to get up under his own power. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Uh oh. Mm, big kick to the chest. And now just going to give him a little taste of his own medicine, a little choking action. And PK King still trying to run blocker. Oh, God, he hit him with that knee. And now I'm going to drag him to the middle of the ring. Or closer, get into position. One, two, and he's still kicking out. Ladies and gentlemen, he is still kicking out. There is the stamina of a demigod <laughs> in that man. Good Lord. Because he ain't having none of it. And off the ropes and bowling into the elbow. And now he is waiting. Christopher Marshall. Uh-oh. Yep, there it is. Big knee to the face. And can he kick out again? I mean, he's a bloody mess. He has survived seven minutes of this. And PK King manages to win, get that victory. Um, we know this isn't the end of Christopher Marshall. He showed a lot in this match, but it just was not enough. He just kept running that kick right there. And he was bleeding profusely. And the match did not go that right there. Good lord, that big kick. <sighs> well, mm. well, congratulations to PK King. Do hope that you guys enjoyed winner, the last show of King. the year. Um, and oh, okay. Oh, this is different. Um, anyway, um, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we will see you in January for off season three. What is wrong with this guy? He's paying for that. <laughs> <laughs>